Many of us gun owners pride ourselves on being able to protect our family when things go bump in the night. But there are many innocent law-abiding Americans who either don't have the training or the tools to do just that. That's when they grab the one tool that they know will send help on the way. And who is it that they send? These guys. Fail. Tommy Cornline of the Louisiana Tactical Police Officers Association was nice enough to invite us out to their annual competition, which was actually being hosted right here in Lake Charles, Louisiana, by the Cactus Parish Sheriff's Office and the Lake Charles Police Department. And while this thing starts off really nice and soft and sweet and kind of sucks you in with the politeness and the pleasantries, it has a nice dinner. There are vendor demos where companies like FN and Glock come in and they demonstrate some of their newer, different types of weapons to these officers. They even let a couple of us legally armed America hacks take a crack at it. Things tend to turn ugly really fast because right after all these pleasantries is the training course team competition. Teams from all corners of the state of Louisiana converge down here and send the very best of who they have to compete in this amazing obstacle course that involves live fire training and tons of different obstacles to run on the course. And look, this ain't your mama's obstacle course. This thing is Eddie! Take it off now, Bo! The competition starts with a sniper up in the tower and the team back in the SWAT truck waiting for the sniper to clear the area with two shots. Once the sniper clears the area, get Katie bar the door. Literally. These guys blast through this door that it's pinned shut. After that, it's obstacle after obstacle. These guys are running and gunning. And the cool thing about it is the teams that did better and the teams that competed at a higher level competed as a team. You'll notice that throughout this video. One minute. Then it was time for the bang sticks. This portion of the course was run with semi-automatic rifles, and you'll notice while there is a little bit of flexibility as far as where these guys can shoot from, there are some pretty strict rules that these guys also have to follow to make sure they are shooting from the right positions. After they put the semi-automatic rifles away, it was time for one of the most grueling parts of this entire course. In this part of the course, these guys are expected to carry their loaded shotguns, but they're also expected to carry a 200-pound dummy. Now, that's not me. I was riding in a cart behind them. This is a dummy that they carry throughout this course. This thing cannot hit the ground unless they're putting it down, and they can't throw it down whenever they're putting him down. This was grueling because this happened after all the stuff they had already run on this course, the full obstacle course, the semi-auto course, and now this and they're covering a lot of area. As you can see, this map shows all the way back through here where these guys have to run, and they're carrying, again, this 200-pound dummy while they take minimal breaks in between while one of their team members shoots at the targets with his particular shotgun. Now, I know what you're thinking. Surely this thing is over now. It's not. Now these guys have to don a gas mask, and they run over here to the pistol range. They're not just shooting pistols. They're not just wearing gas masks. They have to carry ammo cans that are full to each one of the target areas, shoot their targets, and carry the ammo cans back after they've run this entire course. You got to keep in mind, these guys have been nonstop since the time they kicked that door in. They have not stopped. They've run this entire course without breaks. The only breaks they've had in between is whenever they dumped their guns, grabbed the next guns, and moved on to the next stage of this course. I watch these guys suck air and grab wind all day long, working through some very grueling stages and trying to keep their composure and their focus, and again, as a team unit. I have a newfound respect for this entire group of guys, and they all did an outstanding job. And now when things go bump in the night, I'll feel a whole lot better about hitting those three numbers to send them on their way to my house.